Hey everyone, it's Highfield2005 and we are doing a tutorial called Introduction to Bottom Fishing which has just come out today as I'm recording this video. I've already done it but you know like a video on how I caught a catfish with it so but I did I missed the tutorial so yeah anyway so welcome to the bottom fishing tutorial. Bottom fishing also known as ledgering is a technique used to target fish that lurk near or the bed of lakes, streams and other water bodies. So yeah. Uh so we receive equipment. Some new gear has been added to if to open the van assembler to create a bottom fishing rig if if it's what you can find a new items at the stores in the shop. Uh, a bottom fishing rig consists of a feeder rod, spinning reel, line sinker hook and a piece of bait. Select equipment slot and choose the bottom fishing rig style to get started. Well, I've already done that but I'm guessing... Uh, I guess I've got to deassemble this again. Let's go. Let's see. Right, there we go. I had to mess around with it. Uh, it's just recommended to bring a size nine hook, corn, and natural ballers on the trip if they're not earning your tackle box. Got nine hook. Okay, I'm guessing we. You must uh, be here about the buying things. You're very welcome. Guess it's in our storage it debates. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I'll have to put some baits away. Uh, let's put that away. Let's put the red worm away. Because on the video that I did about the bottom fishing is here, I did actually use cheese with a normal hook. So, alright, so boilies and corn. Okay. Right, so go to the marked location. So, where is the marked location? Okay, it's just up here. So, uh, bottom fishing rigs have light, flexible, and called a creeper tip. Yeah, I already knew that. This is what you've been looking for bite indications. Yeah, because we don't use a float. If a fish is nibbling at the bait, you'll see short, sharp movements at the tip. When the fish is biting, the tip will bend even more. Be sure to keep the rod at an angle to your cast under just enough tension to give a slight bend. Be careful not to get too excited though, the natural ebb and flow of the water current will cause tip movement too. Yep, just like real life. Um, yellow perks can be caught using a size 9 hook with cord and bait. So we have to uh, change the hook size. So Size 9, corn. Right, okay. Let's put about side addition. Uh, Oh, wrong, wrong rod, everyone. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Oh, that's funny. Sorry about that. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, we've got a bite. And I should have zoomed in there. You can actually zoom in on the rod, but I accidentally didn't do it. So, oops. So, don't forget that, everyone. <laughs> don't forget that, like I have. Right, so that did take really long, actually. So, alright. Let's just reel it in it. It's taken a while because obviously it's all the way down at the bottom and we cast it a bit further out. So, but I'm using the graduation feeder rod, which is the best rod. It costs, I think it costs 8,000 coins. And here we go, we've got a yellow perch. So, I'm guessing that's not the only one we catch. I guess we're going to be catching bigger, I think. Uh, nicely done. Well, bottom fishing, moving the boat around will make it pretty less effective. So it's best to cast as accurately as you can. Uh, is that it? Oh no, we've got to go to another location. So, which is not far away. So it's just over here. So, yeah, there's no point actually using the vehicle because we're pretty much near here. So, all right, all right. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this video so far. So if you are, uh, consider hitting the like button. I would appreciate that. Thank you. And so here we go. Next up, let's try something different. Several no sturgeon love to lurk, but they're not so keen on corn. Okay. 
Remember that the bait will become more effective as it sits at the bottom, but less effective if completely retrieved after it's settled. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, natural boiling, so... There you go. Got the nine hook, so we should be okay. So let's go cast. And here we go. We'll make sure we... Uh, Zoom in this time. <laughs> oh, see the tip lock? Bending down was like that lock. Can you see it? Yeah, it got a bike going on. See? It's gone down again. There we go. So, that's how you watch out for your bites. Just the same in real life as well, which is, uh, you know, it does take practice with a um, bottom fishing. But it's not really that hard. It's pretty. Easy actually. I find it easy in real life, so but yeah, here we go. So obviously catching the shiver no sturgeon. Uh yeah, with the natural boilies, so uh let's get it in. Alright, secure the catch. And there you go. A Junuva now. <laughs> wow, okay, at least we caught it, so you know that's not uh that's not too bad I guess. Uh, well done, you should have now everything you need to go try a bottom fish in various locations across the reserves. So that's it, mission completed everyone. So I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Bye everybody.